how to make a website to sell your things for free. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a free e-commerce website and start selling your merchandise. So let's get into it. First off, today's tutorial is going to be based on the Big Cartel platform and I will make another tutorial on how to use Equid as well because both of these are very great e-commerce platforms if you want to sell stuff online and if you don't want to pay for any of the premium e-commerce stores such as Shopify or some of the other premium stores that are available. So let's get into how to create your Big Cartel store. So first off, this is the Big Cartel homepage and you can see I already have one store created using Big Cartel and these are the kinds of analytics they provide. This is the basic website I created for my platform and you can see over here, I only have added one item, but for today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a account from scratch and how to create your website as well from scratch so first off you're just going to click on sign up over here you can see what you want to subscribe to so for now we're going to sign up for free and now over here i'm just going to fill out some basic details like my email and password after that you are going to select your shop name if you've already decided that so let's say we are selling accessories so let's just say we were selling mugs mugs custom and then you are just going to click on sign up and just like that you are halfway there on creating your own store so once you have created that you're going to set up your account now there are two approaches you can take from here on out you can either set up your website first or then set up your uh, account but i would suggest you start off by setting up your account and then just focus on your website and design that so for your account first off you're going to have a checklist to get started with you're going to add your product you're going to set up your shipping you're going to connect a payment processor then you are going to design and launch your shop so if we were to click on add products over here you can see if you already have your business set up elsewhere you can just click on import products and then you can import your products from some other platform but for now we are going to add some hypothetical products over here now for your products you can make them active or you can make them hidden sold out or coming soon first you're going to leave a name so let's just say best dad mug and then you're going to write a short description about it like so then you can add categories in your selection for this account i have not created any categories within this account so i don't have to add that but maybe if you're selling apparel and then you have a category for t-shirts you're going to have a separate category for jeans you're going to have a separate category for blouses and tops so on and so forth so you're going to add categories based on that these are just mugs so i'm not going to add any categories now i'm going to add a price like so and then you can even write on sale or off sale like so after that you have individual options for each of your product and then you can add more variations of the same product so you could say black or white it's available in two options then you are just going to add your shipping and your us tax code and that's just it you're going to click on save and then your product is going to be added to your store now just like that you can add as many products as you want if you are subscribed to a premium version of Big Cartel. The only limitation in the free version of Big Cartel is that you can only add up to five products. So it's good to get started, but eventually it, with the increase in inventory, you're probably going to have to upgrade your account as well. So that is something to keep into consideration. Once you are setting up your store that first off, you're only going to start with five products. And if you like using Big Cartel, you can opt for a different version. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start designing our shop. So you can see this is the domain name that they have provided us with. I'm going to skip this. I have done this a lot. So you can see over here, this is your shop. This is your domain name. And right now, obviously, we haven't uh, really added any images or designed it so it just looks like this if you don't design it at all but what i am going to do is you can set up your shop info you can add uh, your time zone currency you're selling in and then you can start designing your shop so over here you can see the luna theme is going to be uh, the default that is going to be set up for your shop if you don't select anything but then you're just going to click on design over here and then you're going to start designing your website so we're going to turn it off to launch our store 
Now you can see over here, this is the basic editing setup of your website. So from here, you're going to start editing your website. Now, if you take a look at themes over here, there are several themes for you to pick from. And I suggest if you're a beginner, you should opt for a theme instead of uh, designing your website from scratch. I think it's far easier to set up your e-commerce store just by picking out a theme and having a simple display of all of your different items. So I really like this sidecar theme and I'm going to use it. And you can see there is quite a large variety even for free over here on Big Cartel. Once you do that, you're, I haven't added any images for my product, so I don't have any images for that, but you can obviously add, you can add your images once you have added all of your products. And over here you have your general settings. So in your general settings, you have your logos. If you have a logo, you can upload that and it will appear over here. Below that you have a background image. So I'm just gonna select a random image that isn't related or anything to show you guys how your background images are going to appear like. So this is just a very random image. While that is uploading, you can see you can change your fonts over here. So there's a lot of fonts you can choose from. If obviously in within your template, you can customize almost everything. So you don't have to worry about having to stick to an entire template. You can obviously customize it. You can also set up your list layout to how you want your products to appear. And you can see we have our little background over here and it's a very large image so it's looking a bit odd but just to show you guys you can add whatever image that's with your website over here now i'm going to remove this because i prefer a solid color and i'm going to keep it black and obviously you can change up the color of your background just by clicking this and then you can select whatever you like like so so you can change everything like that Let's say you want to change the color of header text, so you're just going to select from over here. You're going to move this bar. I really like pink. You guys probably remember that by now. And then I'm going to select pink, like so. And now my header text is going to be pink. Below that, I'm going to also change the body text to a pinker hue, like this. And then you can see you have your general list layouts for your products as well. Then you can set up your sidebar. So if you want to keep it a fixed stationary sidebar on the left, you can do that. Or you can um, also change it. If someone rotates their phone, it could rotate with them as well. Now, after that, in your basic settings, you also have your pages. So uh, obviously, if you're creating a store, usually you're going to have a home page at first. And then you're going to add another page for your product list or your general categorization. So let's just add a shop page and then you're going to click on done and within shop you can add a little description and then add more pages within that or you can directly just add your different pages for different categories over here so let's just say we have jeans or we're ma making a mug or so best sellers like so you can add a page for your best sellers your new arrivals like this and you can add as many pages as you want. Once you are done with your changes, you're just going to click on publish. Okay. And now your new pages have been created. Now, if I were to go back, now you can also view it in tablet or phone mode if you want as well. Now, when I'm going to exit my editor and you can see over here my website link. And you can see the changes I made to the background. I have my best sellers. I have my new arrivals. Obviously, I haven't added product. It looks a bit weird right now, but generally, this is how you create your free e commerce website and start selling your product online with your own website URL. And the URL that Big Cartel provides is very, very decent because it's just your store name dot bigcartel.com and having dot big cartel usually does not affect me whatsoever i've seen that the other urls that are provided by other e-commerce stores are usually less appealing than just having big cartel.com in your name so that is just something to keep into consideration you can even add your own custom domain if you want if you already have purchased your domain you can add that over here as well now for your account you can see this is going to be your basic dashboard over here you're going to have all of your analytics your visitors your orders your conversion so the amount of people that visit 
uh, that actually purchased product is going to be your conversion percentage and then you're going to have your revenue after that below that you're also going to see the product view sold and revenue so all of your basic analytics are provided for free by big cartel after that you have your general orders tab over here you can view all of your orders then your products tab where you can add or remove product. Then you also have a discount bar. So if you want to provide a discount for your customers, you can add a store wide discount over here. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.